Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and today I wanna to share with you my Aldi grocery haul, pretty large haul. Several things that I ended up picking up that were not on my list, but I absolutely had to do it. And then I had some more things on my list that kind of ran over from last month that I couldn't find. So let me share everything that I picked up. Of course, all the prices will be on the screen and I will go through what I'm doing with all of this food. So quite a bit here. So I'm gonna go through this as fast as possible. So I picked up the red bag chicken. Last time I picked up the wrong stuff. So I picked up two bags of it and I'm gonna make some Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I guess that's a good copycat for this type of chicken. So that's what I'm gonna be making for dinner. One of the meals this week. I also got some ice cream. We're not major ice cream fans. I shouldn't say we're not major. My kids love ice cream, but we rarely get it because I prefer making a lot of my own desserts at home. But I decided to pick this up. Um, somebody had mentioned a different type of ice cream there. It was like a gelato or something and it looked super decadent. Oh, it was a dulce de leche ice cream. It was not there. Maybe next time I think my husband would absolutely love that. Another thing that I had heard about was this wild caught beer battered cod. My kids absolutely love fish and chips. I usually make my own fish and chips at home. I'll go to Costco and grab a big cod filet and I'll make it myself, but this sounds super easy and great. Also guys, I'm buying a lot more freezer foods uh, just to let you know because I got a freezer. Well, I didn't get it yet. It should be here tomorrow. But when you're watching this, it'll be today, technically. So I'm super excited. So I'll be able to buy more frozen items along with making my own meals, more freezer meals. So definitely be on the lookout for those videos. So anyway, I got two of those boxes. Here's my little bread section here. So I did get um, some buns. I was trying to just get their cheaper buns, but they were all sold out. So I got some sesame buns here for those Chick-fil-A sandwiches, along with the brioche buns. That's what I want to make the sandwiches with because I figured I can make six of them and then whatever else we can use more of these buns and then I'll freeze the rest for another time. So last time I got these garlic knots. These are phenomenal. However, you make them in the bag. These are foil bags, so you bake them in the oven like this. I liked it but they were kind of wet, a little watery. I can't really explain it. I would say more wet. What I ended up doing was once they were done baking, I actually threw them in my air fryer for like two minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to do one of these bags only in the air fryer and then replicate it again what I did. It just turned out so much better. It was slightly crispier on the outside, but like buttery tender in the middle. I did pick up a sourdough loaf. Someone had mentioned their sourdough is very, very good. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna, fr oh, and this was frozen when I got it. So they had just put it out. I have several different wines back here. I was doing my research, trying to figure out what was a good wine there because someone mentioned that I had forgotten to pick up the wine last time and that's correct because I wasn't sure what to get. So this is a wide range of prices here going from the cheapest to the most expensive. So we're gonna give these guys a try. These are all reds. Me and my husband prefer drinking red wine. I did pick up three bags of frozen vegetables. These are peas and then a California medley. I like having frozen vegetables in my freezer because sometimes like you make your main dish, you make your side dish, and then you're just so exhausted to even make a veggie. These are just great to have in the freezer for very quick sides. In the cheese section, someone mentioned that I need to get the cranberry cheddar and it was not there. I didn't even see a tag for it because they mentioned making like grilled cheese sandwiches with that sourdough back there maybe with like some turkey too that sounded phenomenal did not see that so I picked up the next best thing that would go good with that and that is a honey I'd rather be at the sea it is a cheddar cheese with sea salt and honey so I'm gonna give this little guy a try with some turkey I think that would be just so delicious I also got a couple of blocks. I have um, some Wisconsin extra sharp cheddar cheese and a block of Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna make some creamy chicken enchiladas. I've made my creamy chicken enchiladas before on a vacation video where I like pre-made the enchiladas and then I took them with us and made them in the Airbnb. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be making some freezer meals here soon. And so I plan on making probably two batches, one for dinner and then one for our freezer. I have a ton of berries. I have some blueberries and then two cartons of strawberries. These are gonna go into mason jars just to help prolong the life of them. 
I didn't realize that they sold three different types of these types of crackers and these remind me of the Trader Joe's crackers. Last time I got the raisins and they were delicious. This one is a cranberry and sea salt and I can't remember what the other one was. If you remember what it is, let me know down below. I'll probably try it next time. My kids really like the Trader Joe's like snack mix. It's a spicy pub mix, that's what it is. Now this one is a sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix. It has a variety of different snacky items in there. So I figured this would be a good after school snack idea for them. I picked up some cornflakes because my kids love cereal. I'm trying to buy less sugary cereals, unfortunately. We love them, but trying my best here, I figure we can put like a sprinkling of sugar on some cornflakes if they want a bowl of cereal. Some chocolate chip cookies. These are supposed to be like Chips Ahoy, right? But I have an idea for these cookies aside from like putting in my kids lunches so stay tuned for that. I have some regular just plain corn tortilla chips for some salsa. I did purchase a jar of pickle chips for our Chick-fil-A sandwiches that I'll make here shortly and a little jar of sour cream. This is going to go into the creamy chicken enchiladas. So these are non-food items but these could potentially be made with food. So these guys are so cool. So they're candles. Now last month I bought a candle and there wasn't much scent to it. So I wasn't that thrilled with it. However, this I'm hoping maybe we'll throw off a little bit of scent, but after this is done burning, you can use this little guy as a baking dish. So you can actually put this in the oven. So this is food safe and oven safe. I love these. These are just so cute and pretty. Now I, these are really tiny. These are about maybe four-ish inches or so. I got three of them, but I thought, okay, even if I'm not gonna bake anything with them, these would be perfect for dips or like nuts whenever I have like a gathering or something. This was a good purchase in my opinion because it gives me two different ways to use these. I also got this in the random home aisle or Aldi aisle of shame is what the Facebook group likes to call it. Tapered candles. I've actually had this on my list for a long time. I have some uh, candle holders in my entryway that desperately need some candles so I got those. Everyone raves about this candy bar right here. Everyone talks not this like flavor but just the brand in general. So I like dark chocolate. This sounded delicious. It's a dark chocolate with roasted hazelnuts. Also, I figured this would go great with the wine. I got a really dark chocolate bar. I have a bunch of vegetables going on over here. So I have some cilantro, of course, for our enchiladas, some baby spinach and arugula. I like to pair this with like a little omelet or to put in wraps and salads, sandwiches, all that good stuff. Me and my husband are snackers. So especially on the weekend. So we don't really like have a lunch. We'll like put together like a charcuterie of like veggies, fruit, meats, cheese, all that kind of stuff. So I saw this was the last one. It's a buffalo style chicken blue cheese dip. This looks phenomenal. Oh, and to go with that, I might as well say this too. Someone had mentioned the cranberry almond chicken salad. Oh my goodness. So with some crackers or on that sourdough sounds amazing. So we'll definitely be digging into this this weekend. I have some broccoli, two heads of broccoli florets. I love how they wrap them by the way. That's super cool. Very, very cool. So I got two, uh, one of those. I have down here three little packages of Italian salad dressing. I did not expect to find these here. That was on my list to go like to Target uh, because tonight I'm going to make my creamy chicken goodness, but in the Instant Pot. And I need a little packet of this and I didn't expect them to have that. So very excited to learn that they have that. So grab three of them. I did get some green-ish bananas because I do have some yellow bananas that need to be eaten first. Uh, I have some salsa for of course our chips. I usually get the salsa from Walmart. We love the Casa Sanchez salsa, the medium, but we'll give this a try because we're running low on our salsa. Last month, I was trying to find this. They did not have it because everyone recommended their pub style pretzels. They had them this time, so I got it. Excited to give those a try. Of course, we'll be trying that this weekend with our little snacky car charcuterie lunch. And speaking of dips, all the dips that I got, I'm still unable to find the Mexican street corn dip. So I don't know if they actually sell it because I didn't see any tags for it. And even when I go online like to look, I type in Mexican street corn. It's not available at my store, but maybe hopefully in the future they will, but I'm kind of bummed about that. Back here, I thought this was a box of the mini Bear Grahams, but they're snack bags. Oh well, but I like, my, my daughter loves the chocolate grams for her lunch, so I got her that. They're in snack packs, unfortunately, but oh well. Uh, and then I also got some coconut oil. I always like to have coconut oil on hand. I have a bag of onions. I believe these are yellow onions. There's quite a few in there. 
seven onions, a large bag of Honeycrisp apples, not only to snack on with like peanut butter and cinnamon, but to make like applesauce bars. I haven't made that yet. I've been telling my kids I will make it. Kids, I promise. I will make it soon. Kind of all over the place. Some more veggies. I have some green beans here. Last time I got two bags because it didn't feel like enough, but there's a pound of green beans in here. So that was plenty for us. I also have these mini cucumbers, super, super good for my kids' lunches and for us to snack on, of course, too. We are running low on the Costco grapes. So I just picked up a little tiny bag of green grapes. My kid, my older son really loves green grapes, but they've been loving them frozen recently. Even though it's kind of cold here, they've been putting them in the freezer. So I'll probably end up doing that with some of these uh, grapes. I got four cans of tomato sauce just to go into my pantry to replenish what I've used over this past week. A little baggie of avocados. And in here, I think there are five-ish, there are six avocados in here for a really, really good price. I'm gonna be making some sweet and sour meatballs here in my Instant Pot soon. And on the list, of course, is some chili sauce. And I really was not expecting to find this at Aldi. Like, I really wasn't. So I was very happy to find that. Hopefully it tastes similar, we'll see. And then I got some grape jelly, of course, for the sweet and sour. I have a pineapple back there that I'm gonna cut up in a couple of days and I like to flip my pineapple over just to distribute the sugars equally throughout the pineapple. I have two gallons of whole milk. I also got some heavy whipping cream. So I usually get my heavy cream from Walmart. However, the price was like very comparable. So I just got it because I don't have much left uh, from what I've been cooking and making this past week. So I grabbed that and plus the date on it is really far out, which is wonderful. I did get some roasted potatoes. I like making roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes, breakfast potatoes. So I got a large 10 pound bag of these guys. I also got just a, two dozen eggs. I usually get my eggs from a family that delivers uh, farm fresh eggs to us, but this is just gonna hold us over until the next delivery. Okay, so here's a couple items that were not on my list, but I had to get them because of the price. So stew meat, I got three packages of them. They were 50% off. How can I say no to that? So I got three of them. I'm gonna figure out what to do. I'll probably just make, obviously, maybe like an Instant Pot stew or crock pot stew, make some mashed potatoes with that, perfect. Also, the other thing were some chicken tenders. These were 50% off. I just got two. I wanted to make sure I left some for other people to get, but um, figure gonna figure out something with that as well. I got some Canadian, what did they call it? I was looking. To me, this is Canadian bacon. They call it biscuit ham slices. Okay, uh, to make little breakfast sandwiches. And I did get some biscuits. Now, usually we don't eat a lot of biscuits, but people on the Facebook group were saying that these biscuits were very good. So I figured, well, let's make like a breakfast sandwich over the weekend with this with these guys right here. And I missed a few items. Coming back up, I have a three pack of garlic along with a cucumber. Even though I have many cucumbers, I want to also have this on hand too in case I run out. For our chicken sandwiches, the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches, I know that their original sandwich doesn't come with tomato, but their deluxe sandwich does. So I'm gonna throw on some tomatoes along with some lettuce. I was looking for a butter leaf lettuce. They didn't have that. They didn't have butter leaf, but it was all kind of uh, cut up into like a mix of salad, but I didn't wanna do that. So I just got the regular lettuce and then the other Thing I got is pork. Is this the only way that they, is this how they sell their pork? I thought it would come like in a ground container like this, like how you would get ground beef. Is this how they normally sell their ground pork? Let me know. This is gonna go into the meatballs, the sweet and sour meatballs too. Okay, so a couple of things uh, I want to mention. Next time, I'll try to look next month for that Mexican street corn. I don't wanna give up on it. I really love street corn, so hopefully it'll be there next time. The other thing I need to ask you guys about, because I have my list over here, is the yellow bag chicken nuggets. So everyone was saying that the yellow bag nuggets are good, but all I found there were like this mustard colored bag of tenders. They were like honey battered tenders. Is that what you guys are referring to? Let me know. Also, there is still no green bag of chicken. Maybe my Aldi is not complete yet. That did just open 
last uh the end of december so maybe they're still bringing in product i don't know but that wasn't there either i mentioned the cranberry cheddar hopefully that will be there next time all right my friends so that is it for this aldi haul let me know in the comments what did i forget what do i need to pick up next time because i trust your guys' opinions and i love chatting with you so if you're not subscribed please subscribe before you leave because i would really appreciate your support and would love to have you around and we will see you in the next video bye friends